Those looking at Hollywood, we have a sexy show for you. How sexy is it? Well, we have Mamie Van Doren, and may I say, she is one of the eternal blonde bombshells. She came out at the time of Marilyn Monroe, Jane Mansfield, and Mamie, and we have her today. So I thought I'd dress the part, because she's the girl that invented rock and roll. So let's eavesdrop with Skippy and Mamie now. Mamie been cutting records. What do you mean? You just started cutting records for Germany and also here, I understand? Yeah, I've got two records that'll be coming out in October of this year. And, exciting. Uh, I'm very excited. It's a, it's a company in Germany and I'm doing two videos. We're uh -huh. shooting a lot of it in on Hollywood Boulevard. On Hollywood Boulevard? Yeah. Wow. That trash city. Yeah. <laughs> why, why Hollywood Boulevard, darling? Well, I used to hang out there. You know, I grew up in uh, Hollywood. And yeah, but uh, originally you're from Palm Springs, came to Hollywood. As no, a no, no. I'm from South Dakota. No, but... In the Midwest, and then during the war years, then we, as a little girl, I came out, and um, I lived in Palm Springs for a while, and then came to L.A. Miss Palm Springs? Yes, 15. I hate to tell you... you That's when Howard Hughes saw me. Howard wow. Hughes? Wow! What do you mean he well, saw he, you? Well, what? he saw me in a contest at, at the Chi Chi and uh, Chi Chi Club. He liked very young, very young little girls then. Oh, who doesn't? <laughs> even today, even today, Mamie, even today. <laughs> the last, you know, the last of the blondes, Jane Mansfield, Marilyn Monroe. You knew her very well. You, you knew her when she was Norma Jane. Yeah. Tell me about. Just well, I just had, I didn't know her. Right. I just had seen her modeling. I was 12 at that time, and she was modeling for the blue book modeling company at the Ambassador right. Hotel and I was swimming up there because I had a boyfriend up there and she was uh, she was posing in a bathing suit then uh -huh. you know. yeah that's hot and then I ran into her at M uh, 20th when I was making a screen test but because I looked too much like her they didn't sign me do you remember the screen test you did do you actually remember that particular screen yes test? I did a scene from um, the big knife the role of Dixie right and that uh, was um, who was it who was it with did you do the scene with? Do you remember? The I was by myself. It was you like did? a monologue. Oh, okay, fine. It was a okay. monologue from the play. Uh-huh. Oh. And they signed you up? No, and 20th didn't. Universal signed Universal. Uh -huh. First film, Universal. Uh, with Tony Curtis, Forbidden, and that got me the contract at Universal. And then I did uh, the, I co-starred with Tony uh -huh. in a movie called The All-American. It was a football picture. That was a great, and you married? Good picture. Hey, come on, you're, you, you married a guy who was a baseball player. You love athletes, well, don't I you? Well, I married a musician, and then I'm, Mar I married, the first one was Ray Anthony, Ap and then I have a son by him, and then, uh, and then I married a baseball player. Baseball player. Yeah. His name was Bo. Bo Belinsky. I Come engaged him, but I didn't marry him. You didn't marry him. him. You were engaged. No, he I was didn't. a hot guy, I understand. Yeah, he but oh, tell yeah. me about Ray Anthony. How long were you married to Ray Anthony? How did Amy Van Dorn get into Ray Anthony? You mean how did how he did get into me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like that line? Man? Yeah, yeah. I like that. That'll play know. well. That'll Go play ahead. well. How did he get in? Yeah. How Very did he get in? I don't know. <laughs> um, well, I met him through a blind date. Is how I met him. Is that how you? Yeah. <laughs> you used to hang around Sunset Boulevard in those days. Sure, I went to. On the strip. I used to hang on Whiskey Go Go, the, the, the Doors, Jim Morrison, uh -huh. Johnny Rivers. I, I had a table there every night. I'd go out there every night. Really? Oh yeah. It was fun those days, huh? Ah, I loved it. You know, I just J Janie would be dancing, and I'd be dancing on the floor with her. Uh -huh. and what kind of girl was Jane Mansfield? Janie, Jane was uh, a free spirit would do things on the spur of the moment, love life. She lived like it was the last day, uh -huh. and luckily she did. And uh, she had, um, her heart ruled her head, unfortunately. Is that Mamie Van Doren too, the same way? No, I don't no, think so. No, uh -uh. You're not the same, are you? <laughs> no. The heart doesn't rule you. Not, I mean, no, never has, really. Cause you're, I've, I've you're, always done more things more practical. I, I, um, I've always sa saved a reserve for in case something happened. Right. And, um, and that's how I survived. I mean, I am the survivors of you know, you the three are, M's. The three M's. The three M's. You certainly are a survivor. You did a film Not with Clark would. Gable. Oh, mm -hmm. come on. That mm -hmm. film with Clark Gable and Doris Day. Yeah. Tell me about that teacher's pet. Yeah. Um, I well, love that film. Well, he saw me in Warner Brothers, and uh, Clark saw me and um, wanted me to play a role. Oh, he did want you. Oh, yeah. He's the one that wanted me for the part, and they wrote a part in for me. 
Wow. And, yeah. Interesting, isn't yeah. it? He, and had he been married and I had to been married, you know, there were definitely sparks flying. There was sparks yeah, flying? Yeah, he was, I was 24 and he was like in his, like early 60s. Any so he nights out at Cyril's and McCombles, late night nights in LaRue's, oh, uh, Mamie and the Clark? No, I couldn't because he was married to Kay. Ah, but so he never did cheat Kay or any hung, of that? He, Kay hung around a lot, but once in a while, when you know, it only takes five seconds, we had like a, a teenage necking uh -huh. scene oh. in, the, in, the, in the dressing room, but he's very shy. Uh -huh. What were you going to say? She's saying... Mm. Is Clark <laughs> Gable, was, was Clark Gable off screen as sexy as he looks on all those great old movies on screen? Oh yeah. I mean, he was, was he like a? He wasn't like a disappointment. Like sometimes when you come to Hollywood and all these people you thought were six foot two right. or five foot five, some <laughs> of the men. What was Clark Gable really mm -hmm. like? Well, he had bigger hands than I thought he did. Oh really? <laughs> Interesting, interesting, you girls, okay. Yes. Okay. Well, no, I'm this. serious. I think he was a mechanic. Well, let's when he see. Was let's, uh, we bought a he clip. He was a man's man, and yet he was, he was, you know, you could talk oh. to him. He was like... Did he drink a lot, Maine? Yeah, he, he had did. martinis uh, for lunch, you know. He, really? He got very loose when he had a uh -huh. martini. Uh -huh. Let's get, let's, you got the clip. I want to see it. Teacher's pet. Oh, okay. Annie, let's yeah. show it. Okay. Would you show it, honey? Sure. The let's kissing scene with him the was kiss. cut out because I guess Why? he was too old. Okay. Too, look, too old for Well, me. let's see it, Annie. But not too old for a real kid. Okay, show it. A absolutely. Annie's going to show the clip. Oh, Annie. Teacher's pet. Okay, Annie. <laughs> Teacher's pet. Thank you. At the college campus scene, I was elected campus queen, and I got a degree for anatomy directly from the dean. I drove that professor insane with my extraordinary scientific brain. Oh, I'm the girl. Yes, I'm the girl. heard of instant coffee you've heard of instant tea see here you guys just feast your eyes on little old instant me cause i'm still looking at me i'm the girl who invented rock and roll i'm the girl who inaugurated rock rock and roll <laughs> interesting the white diamond blonde, that's what they called you. Uh, yeah. Well, Why is that? Edith had designed my wardrobe for me for the movie, and she had everything white. Uh-huh. And, um, uh, of course, Harlow was, was really my idol, and uh, Jean Harlow. So the, uh -huh. she said, I, instead of the platinum blonde, she used the diamonds on me in white satin mm -hmm. in the movie, and so she called me the white diamond blonde. Doris Day didn't seem very happy there. I look, I'm looking <laughs> at there. She didn't seem very happy. Tell me about Doris Day. She couldn't even look at me while I was doing the dance. She had never really? seen a number like that in her entire well, life. Well, the bumps probably. were, if you noticed, you know, you the bumps weren't she was frontwards. Backwards. They were sideways, Yeah, the bumps. you couldn't do any uh, frontward bumps, and if I did, they'd cut Clark Gable going like that, which Real. was even funnier. Right, right. <laughs> but uh, the Hayes office and the Johnson office uh, were were always hanging around when I did anything. I mean, they were uh, always there really? to see if I had cleavage or, you know, if I did a forward bump. Really? It was so well, silly. So hypocritical, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. In those days, D it was Doris crazy. Day. Doris Day did not like me at all. Why? Oh. Interesting. Why? I have, just I because you were I'm, too sexy for her, is that it? Well, I, I hate to talk about myself no, as that's being okay. sexy, but there was a problem. I just, she didn't want me in the movie, and she... Uh, oh, she didn't want you in the movie. I'm sure she didn't. Um, mm -hmm. It was obvious she wouldn't even speak to me. And then mm -hmm. when I did the scene, she had to look at me, and she kept looking uh -huh. down. And the director, uh -huh. was Pearlberg and Seton, would right. always say, George would always say, well, look up at her and react. And she uh -huh. couldn't, she just kept looking down. Mamie Van Doren, <laughs> sexy men in your life. You've had some great sexy men in your life. Look at Steve McQueen. Come on, mm. let's get back up there. I met him at Whiskey Go-Go. Did you met Steve McQueen? <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden I'm dancing on the floor and he, boom, I turn ha around and my partner's gone and there he is. And uh -huh. he started dancing with me and then he says, come on home with me. So I did. <laughs> what kind of guy was Steve? Was he fun? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, a lot of fun. Steve Cochran? Oh, he, he was too. Yeah, Steve Cochran was a sexy Tell me, guy. yeah, you like Steve People Cochran. Of all the men that you really liked, I bet Steve Cochran was... If you go, I can go in a room, I can always pick the, the worst guy. I mean, not the worst, but the... 
kind of the meanest and the roughest. It seems like they're just like a sponge to me. I always seem to pick on. You like that type? Not anymore. I I, th I don't know. I I've always kind of had gone into the bad, the big bad wolf type. Is it of because man. the sex power there, Mame? Is I don't because know. Of the men. I, uh, I I like the the power that they evoked, you know, or something. Uh -huh. But uh, as I grew older, I didn't like. I've never liked that anymore. Because you're married, you had a wonderful husband. He's a, he's yeah, a he's, writer. He's a writer and he's very talented. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you have you have a child from uh, Anthony, yeah, uh, Ray right. Anthony. Mm -hmm. He's he's in the business, is he, or is he? Uh, he's no, he's a, he's a sales computers, sales and computers? sales, uh -huh. and sales. Uh -huh. But he wants to get out of that, right? Do <laughs> uh -huh. you still see Ray around? Uh, no, not friends <laughs> at all. Friends at all? You're still no, friends he, now. No, he won't talk to me for some reason. Uh, Ray Anthony won't talk to you. No, he he'll call Perry once in a while, but he won't ever talk to me. I, he just looks at me and like I've never existed. Your book, you wow. came out with a book, Mamie Van Dorn's book. It was great. Well, was I'm hope to do an right. HBO movie on it. I, it's now being. And I understand. I understand. The lady who really wants to do Mamie Van Dorn's life. Did you know that any? No. It is Madonna wants to do Mamie Van Dorn. If I you could go see back, it. Oh, Mamie, I could see Madonna it. has really copied Mamie sure. Van Dorn a lot. Yeah. Think about it. Well, she Amy, did the rock and roll stuff. She did the rock because you're the, the original. And the ponytail. Yeah, yeah you're the, the long orig swatch. You're the original yeah. lady of the rock and yeah. roll. Well, and Mar films. Marilyn did not do any of that stuff. I know, yeah. right, was, right. You know, she did more the glamorous stuff, but I did a lot of teenage movies, which is has a big cult following now, you especially see? in Europe too. God, they love it in Europe. They do, all oh, your teenage movies. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I have two records that are coming out. You know, and uh, uh -huh. I'm really excited about that. Let's talk about your trip in Europe. You just got back from Europe. Yes. You had a great time. They honored you in Europe. Yes. And you brought a clip that you sang. <laughs> I want to see this. You sang in Europe for this wonderful people from Holland. And, uh, no, this is Brussels. Brussels. Yeah. Okay. I was in the Netherlands too. And then it, they honored and on the you. clip, yes, I, I have a see-through uh, top on. Topless. And, it, it's like not tallest, but it's a see-through, and in Europe, it's it's very natural. You know, but you Madonna can is worse than this. Let's see this. I want to show. Well, no, I don't. Mamie, I mean, this is people a great are probably clip. going to say, "Oh, what is she trying to do? No, Copy Mamie, Madonna?" But I've been doing clip. it a lot longer. You've been doing it before she ever. And did. It, what's so great is about it? Uh, I've been wanting to do this all my life, but you know, because of she opened the door for being able to do all the things you want to do. Right. So. So I, this is some stuff, rock and roll songs that I did in my movies. In your I, movies? In, in rock Around the Clock, I did a, um, with Bill Haley uh -huh. and uh, um, all... The, these are all the songs these from... These are songs from movies and uh, people that I had a close relationship with. Okay, close relationship with. I like yeah, that. Yeah, and the first song is A Girl Who Invented Rock and Roll, which okay. I did before. Good, let's see it. Okay, okay. let's show the clip, Annie. Wow, okay, Bill honey? Haley in the You're gonna comments. You're going to love this clip, Annie. Wow. Here, sit back, watch it. Ooh.
audience in a roar. I mean, whew. Uh, well, I mean, you're, they're you're, Belgium. You know, they are very stiff people. Yeah, they if they really don't are. like you, I mean, when I walked out, it was rather chilly, you know. But uh -huh. uh, it was chilly know, at the beginning. Yes, but then they they started to get with it and they uh -huh. started clapping and accepting it, and especially you know the women, you know, uh, they 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 weren't very much like American women, no, you know, they're not like not. competing or something. It's, uh -huh. it's like they accept you as, as a performer, you right. know. Uh -huh. You don't go on a, a TV show, on an interview, right. with your, you know, but when you're entertaining, it is, it's acceptable, you know. I see, I see. At least over there and not here. Not. <laughs> How about England? When you go to England, they must uh, love you in London. I, must well, I lived in London for a uh, time, and um, did you I enjoy it? I, no, I didn't like London that much. Why? Why is that? I think it was the weather. Eh, uh -huh. And my company that I was what, with. What part place you, you <laughs> must love Spain or Italy? I love Spain, I love Italy, and I love my favorite, of course, is Paris. Paris. I was in Paris. I did a Mine television too. show in Paris, uh -huh. and I did the Miran show there, uh -huh. very much like yours. Uh -huh. Tell me something. You are uh, Trump, just I understand Trump is uh, Trump Towers <laughs> in yeah. Atlantic City? Yeah, I'm working there this. You're going to be working there this summer. Uh huh. Oh. Ooh, that must be exciting. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing my 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 num uh, songs for my new uh, my CD that I'm do producing. Uh -huh. Annie sings too. She's on the road. She comes singing oh. once once in a while. Did you work uh, Atlantic City, Annie? I worked Bally's. Yes. Bally's. That's great. The Trump Place is terrific. Trump Guess Castle is it called? Oh yes. You Trump see that girl Castle. over there? Guess where she's going to be singing next week at the where? opera? She's in rehearsals now at the opera at the. Uh, <laughs> Dorothy Chandler. Dorothy Chandler. She's yes. going to be. Uh, I'm an oh, angel. Oh, 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 Talk about the show. What is the show Hansel called? Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel. Oh, she's right. right. Yeah, she sings opera. She does it. That's good. Who sang? What, what's his name? Uh, who's the famous? Pasado. Pasado. She does. She does you do Madame crazy. Butterfly. I, I've tried it, Madame Butterfly. But you do really? You dance a lot, don't you mean? I you dance, yeah. Life. I've danced. How about cabaret? Do you like the cabaret thing? I like, yeah. I'm really looking forward to working, you know, in, in, another, in a club. Um, uh -huh. It's. How about your book? What's happening with that book of yours? Are you rewriting a book? Or I'm doing another one. Another one. <laughs> That's right. Tell me about it. Well, What's it's kind of it's 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 a novel with combination, you know. I, uh -huh. It's men in your life. A lot of men, <sighs> like Shelley Winters, had all these men in her life. She loves to talk about all these wonderful men she's been with. How about Mamie Van Doren? You would like? Well, that I too? did that in my first book. Uh, you know, a lot I of left them? a lot of them out. I left. Who some of the exciting? Men, not actors, but men in Mamie Van Doren's life at that, with growing around oh, the world. Oh, well, let's see. Um, Phil Hill, who used to be a race driver, he got killed. Or they, you know, he, I met him down in Australia when I was working. Uh huh. Um, we used to drive 200 miles an hour in his That's Ferrari. Right. You drive. Wow. Fast. You like fast driving. Yeah, I like. I, st I have you a have sports, sports car. car right now. Yeah, mm, I like to drive fast. Why is that? Mm. I've always liked to be. You like exciting men. I, li I, li I like that. Cars fast. I hate to be bored by men. You know. Bored by men. I what bores? What men? What do they bore you? How do they bore you? Well, How does they talk about themselves, or if they have no sense of humor? I gotta have a guy that has a sense of humor that likes to crack. I just some. interviewed Barbara Bain. She said the same thing. Yeah. First is sense of sense humor. Of humor is right, Annie? Oh, yeah. That is the first yeah. sense. Yeah, I gotta have Why it. is that all the women like well, sense I of like humor? Well, I like to laugh a lot. And, um, and if a guy can keep me happy that way, that's as important as sexually, you know. Sense of humor sexually? Oh, yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. Okay. You know, not at the same time, but... Yes, Annie. <laughs> well, Annie's going to say something to me. What is it, darling? Did, did Ray Anthony have a sense of humor? No, or, with, or did he just have a good trumpet? <laughs> I leave it to Annie. Okay. I'm, I'm curious. He blows I'm well. Curious. I, he I'm doesn't seem to be a happy person. He blows very I'm good, sure. that trumpet. <laughs> I'm me. sure he might want to meet you. I mean, yeah. Well, they met. I think they've met. You've met Ray, haven't you? Yes, I met him once. Yes. Oh. He had the group called with the girls. What were the... Before uh, the bookends. The bookends. Yeah. Right. Did you ever see that group in Vegas? Yeah, they're very good. I saw them when they were at the Royal Hawaiian uh -huh, Hotel in uh -huh. Hawaii. Do you work with guys on stage, boy dancers sometimes? Uh, I did Maybe. when I first got my first act, but I, I found out I didn't need them. You just, <laughs> just I like to just go out and, and just do my own thing and, uh -huh. and um, you know, I can choreograph my own. I don't like choreography. I like to be spontaneous. I like uh -huh. to move and, and do things like it uh -huh. comes natural from inside. Right. I don't like somebody else telling me a movement, you know, and he can tell me where to go, but uh, I like to do everything. Mm -hmm. What does Mamie Van Doren really would like to have done in life right now at this moment in your lifetime? What, what would, would you I like, like to do? Yes. What would you like to do? I like to get my my uh, movie out and let You're people really know the real me. And I like to have. What do you mean the real 
You. The one that Who no one is really seen. Mamie Van Doren. Do you, you know Do yourself? I know? Yeah. Do you really know yourself? I'm starting to just find out. Really? Isn't that weird? No. I'm, I'm just not. starting to really know myself at my age right now. There's a lot of people out there don't know the, who they really yeah. are. They I, think they do, but well, they don't know. No, I've, I found uh, a lot of things out about Mamie that uh, you know I didn't know about myself. Mamie and is simpatico, I, isn't she? Yeah, very simpatico. And spiritual? I spiritual and... Uh, caring? Caring, and I, 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 I love people, but I'm kind of... I, I'm gun shy when it comes to a lot of people. I, I am very aware of people and how they think, and I can pick out people almost immediately how is they, it, what they think about me. Is it because it doesn't really matter? Is it because you deal with so many people as a oh, star? Oh yeah, it, it just it just it's it just is so natural for me uh -huh. to just read me minds. Uh -huh. I can almost tell you what they're thinking when they mm -hmm. meet me. It's it's scary sometimes. I want you to go back, Steve McQueen. Oh, I you really like liked Steve. him. Yeah, I did. I liked him. <laughs> Tell me, uh, any some sense of thing he did, what sense of humor that you really liked, you, that stuck in your mind with Steve McQueen. No, I, I couldn't even tell on the air. Ooh, oh, really? Wow. Okay. Say well, something. he called me Lady. Lady. That was his nickname for me, Lady, because I wouldn't do perform certain sexual acts. Like oh, that. really? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he wanted the naughty, naughty things, and so he called you lady? Yeah, I, I almost felt hey, like Hey, that's interesting. I like that. <laughs> so, I like that. I didn't put that in my book. You didn't put that? Is that well, be in your... there's a lot of things in the book that were edited out. Putnam said, no, we can't put that in, maybe. Uh -huh. How about Clark Gable? Getting back to Clark Gable, your first movie with Clark, with Teacher's Pet. Anything on the set that exciting happened or something that you could Well, remember? in the dressing room, it was... Like? I sat on his lap, and we necked like a, like a couple of teenagers, and... Um, oh. was I'd like a couple of teens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, was a lot, it was fun. Was it? Yeah, it was so fun. So Mamie's had a good time in life, you would say? I, I never, I always enjoyed, if I like somebody and I want to go to bed, you're looking at me. I'm the girl who can play with I did whatever I like.